The only black-owned business in Old Town Clovis is the target of a hate crime. The store was broken into sometime overnight and vandalized. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shauna Kalafi. Clovis police say whoever broke into that store stole and destroyed products and tagged the store with racial slurs. Our Dennis Valera spoke with the owner of Just My Essentials, who says she discovered the mess when she got into work this morning. Shauna, the owner of Just My Essentials first noticed the spray paint on the front door. It's since been cleaned up. She then unlocked it, peeked inside, and saw the back door was open. From there, she saw the other damage done to her store. Now, it's a hard hit for sure. However, the owner knows that she'll be able to get back on her feet because of all the support she's been getting. It's, it's what did I do? What, what, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? Chanel Wapner doesn't understand why her store, Just My Essentials, would be targeted like this. Someone broke in and stole her products and ruined what they left behind. Destroyed the products, poured water on all these. But that's not all they did. They spray painted the N-word several times, as well as BLM, only to cross it out. Chanel says someone did stop by to tell her black lives do not matter a couple weeks ago. But besides that, she's never had any bad experience in her store's three years stay in Clovis. I've had people calling me today saying, I want to support you. This is not right. We don't do this. It's not who we are. And you're right. It's not who we are. And whoever did it, it's who you are. <laughs> Thank you. Janelle has been getting more than calls. Many from the Fresno Clovis area have been stopping by to show support, including Clovis's mayor, Drew Bessinger. To stand united against any type of hate crime or violence. Who took a moment with the rest of City Council and Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsig to condemn what happened. We need to uh, take care of each other a little, little bit more, and we need to always have a united voice that this is not acceptable. It's this support that's helping Chanel push to reopen. If you think you're running me out, and if you think that my life doesn't matter, you got it wrong, buddy. My life matters, you're not running me out. I am rooted and grounded. I will rebuild and I'm staying right here. Now Clovis Police is currently looking through the surveillance video in the area to hopefully find a suspect. Now Clovis City Councilman Bob Whalen did start a GoFundMe to help Chanel and in less than two hours, it surpassed its goal of $5,000. In Old Town Clovis, Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News and Matters.